Hello everyone, welcome to Daily Knowledge. This video is about Legends of the Hollywood Stamp series. It is one of the longest and most popular series issued by the US Post Office. The first stamp of the Legends of Hollywood was released in 1995 and it was in the honor of Marilyn Monroe. She found success as a singer, model and actress from the early 1950s through the early 1960s. Although she captivated the public and pushed the boundaries of what was considered sensible and appropriate for the time, Marilyn had many personal demons and she tried to silence them with drugs and alcohol. Conspiracy theories abound surrounding her personal life and death from barbiturate overdose. But she will always remain the iconic American blonde bombshell. Her notable films include Gentlemen Prefer Blondes which was released in 1953, The 7 Year Itch in 1955, Bus Stop in 1956 and Some Like It Hot released in 1959. Next stamp was issued in 1996 in the honor of James Dean, denomination was 32 cents. Now James Dean is remembered as a cultural icon of teenage disillusionment and social estrangement as he portrayed his most famous film, Repel Without a Cause. Starring in only three films, he was first noticed by the public in a series of acclaimed television plays. As one who led a fast life on and off screen, he was interested in developing a career in auto racing. Unfortunately, his brief career came to an end when he died of injuries sustained in an auto accident at the age of 24. James Dean movies include East of Eden, released in 1955, Rebel Without a Cause, released in 1955, and Giant, released in 1956. Third stamp was issued in the honor of Humphrey Bogart in 1997. Denomination was 32 cents. Now, capable of playing a tough guy, romantic lead, and comic roles with equal ease, Humphrey Bogart starred in over 70 movies in a 35 year career. In 1999, the American Film Institute selected him as the greatest male star of the American cinema. He was chosen to play gangster roles due to his resemblance to John Dillinger. His breakthrough came in 1941 with starring roles in movies High Syrah and The Maltese Falcon. His role as Rick Blaine in 1940's Casablanca alongside the Ingrid Bergman helped make it one of the greatest films of the Hollywood Golden Age. Next time was issued in 1998 in honor of Alfred Hitchcock. Called one of the most influential and studied film directors in the history of cinema, Alfred Hitchcock is one of the few film directors to be as famous in front of the camera as behind it. Directing over 50 films in a career spanning six decades, Hitchcock was known for his brief cameo roles in his films and his droll deadpan delivery and gallows humor made his long-running TV series Alfred Hitchcock Presents, one of the most popular shows of its time. He was knighted in 1980, just a few months before his death at the age of 80. In 2012, the British Film Institute named his 1958 film Vertigo the greatest film ever made based on a worldwide poll of film critics. Next time was issued in 1999 in honor of James Cagney. One of the most versatile actors of Hollywood's golden age, James Cagney was known for his energetic performances, whether it was musical comedy or crime drama. While he was often typecast as a tough guy in films such as The Public Enemy and The White Heat, his skill as a dancer landed him the role of George M. Cohan in 1940's Yankee Doodle Dandy, for which he won an Academy Award. Orson Welles once called Cagney may be the greatest actor who ever appeared in front of a camera. Now, notable films of James Cagney include Angels with Dirty Faces, released in 1938, Yankee Doodle Dandy, released in 1942, White Heat in 1949 and Mr. Roberts released in 1955. Now next time is issued in 2000 in honor of Edward G. Robinson. 
He appeared in more than 40 Broadway movies and 100 films in a 50-year career. While he is best remembered for tough guy in films such as Little Caesar and Key Largo, he was also an outspoken critic of fascism and Nazism. He contributed over $250,000 to over 850 organizations involved in relief during the World War II. The American Film Institute ranked Robinson 24th on its list of the 25 greatest male stars of the classic American cinema. Now, notable films of Edward G. Robinson include Five Star Final, released in 1931, Smart Money, released in 1931, Tiger Shark in 1932, Key Largo in 1948, and A Hole in the Head in 1959. Next stamp was issued in 2001 in honor of Lucy Lee Ball. She was mainly known for her comedic role in I Love Lucy. It was one of the most beloved television shows of all time. Lucy Lee Ball was also a gifted stage actress, producer, and fashion model. She was the first woman to run a major television studio, Lucy Production which produced many popular television series including Star Trek and Mission Impossible. In 1989, she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Lucille Ball notable films include The Dark Corner, released in 1946, Fancy Pants, released in 1950, The Fuller Brush Girl in 1950, The Long Long Trailer in 1954, and Yours, Mine's, Ours, released in 1968. Next stamp was issued in 2002 in honor of Cary Grant. He is considered one of the Hollywood's greatest leading men. He is known for his cultivated English accent, comedy timing, and light-hearted approach to dramatic role. He was a top box office attraction in a career spanning over 30 years in 70 movies. In 1989, the American Film Institute named Grant the second greatest male star of the Golden Age Hollywood. Cary Grant was a favorite of the director Alfred Hitchcock and he starred in four Hitchcock movies. His notable movies include She Done Him Wrong, released in 1933, Topper, 1937, Bringing Up Baby, 1938. Suspicion 1941, Arsenic and Old Lace released in 1944 and Jared in 1963. Now next time was issued in 2003 in honor of Audrey Hepburn. She was known for her fashion choices and distinctive looks. She was born in Brussels and began her career performing in ballet and as a chorus girl. She rose to stardom in 1953 movie Robin Holiday alongside Gregory Peck. She was the first actress to win an Oscar, Golden Globe and BAFTA award for a single performance. Her role as a Cookney flower seller in My Fair Lady is considered the best of her career. In her spare time, she was a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF and she received the Presidential Medal of Freedom for her work. Her other notable films include Sabrina, released in 1954, Funny Face in 1957, Breakfast at Tiffany's in 1961, and Jared in 1963. Now, this time was issued in 2004 in honor of John Wine. Perhaps no actor typifies American cinema more than John Wine. He was known as the Duke. Wine appeared in over 170 films in a career spanning six decades. Standing six feet four inch tall, Wine's break came in 1930 western movie The Big Trail. But it was 1930s stagecoach that made Wine a top box office attraction. Now, while primarily known for his westerns, Wine's larger than life image worked well in leadership roles that symbolized American values and ideas. His enduring status as an iconic American earned him two of the nation's highest civilian decoration, the Congressional Gold Medal and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. 
His notable movies include Reap the Wild Wind, Angel and the Bad Man, Red River, The Searchers, Trio Bravo, True Grit, and Big Jake. Okay friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel.